All right. These are also endangered species. We're going to start with one that uh, is native to right around here. So what we're doing is grassland animals, and this right here is a buffalo. Um, I like to call them fluffy moo cows, though that, that's not strictly accurate. <laughs> All right, so if you break it into shapes, you're going to want kind of an egg shape for his head. You're going to want a large circle. Now, their back comes up pretty far, so you're going to want this egg shape to be closer to the bottom of the circle here than the top. And then you want a smaller circle for the back end of the buffalo. And then you can connect these. You want it to be kind of a slanted line there. They've got kind of a dip in their back. And this you're not going to really have to worry about connecting because he's going to have all sorts of fluff that covers that seam anyway. Now you're going to have legs, so his top leg, start with an oval right here, it kind of protrudes almost barely out of his chest here. So it's going to be more in the chest than out. Then another oval going straight down, and then he'll have his feet. He's got another foot right here, and you don't have to draw that second leg for the same reason that you don't have to connect up here. He's got lots and lots of fur up front here. Now this back part comes all the way to the back, about a little over halfway up this circle. And then you're just going to bring that oval down. Another oval. And a hoof. So, one of the main things about this is drawing the hair. Now, there are spots that are going to be darker and spots that are going to be lighter. They're generally really dark on their underbelly here. Uh, so let's go ahead and erase these lines we don't need. Um, now, you're still going to kind of see this line here, and that's fine, because you are going to see some darker hair on the spots where he has connections into his limbs here. You're going to see a darker area right here, and then darker all along this bottom part here. Now, one of the fun things you can do with this guy here is you can actually do lots and lots of almost like scribble drawing on these dark spots because he's got so much hair. So, take it and go like that. Now, he's got a big beard that comes down here. He's got nostrils on either side. He's got an eye right here, but you can kind of just barely see it there. Now he's also going to have some, some horns that come out. This one's kind of mostly hidden and facing towards us there. But we're going to do lots of hair. Lots and lots and lots of fluff. He's got like a mane, like a lion. As long as you keep it so that this up here is kind of a lighter scribble, it'll still look like a buffalo. Pretty neat, huh? Now it's also going to have a little tail right here. And even simpler if you don't want to do the hooves, which tend to get kind of complicated on these guys. You can bring the tall grass in because they roam through that tall grass. Pretty cool, huh? 
So this right here is a species that you also see in grasslands, mostly in the savanna, since this is an African elephant that we are looking at here. Um, so elephants have a very interesting shape to their head. So if you start with a circle here, and then you can do a circle here, and then a triangle over that circle. I know that sounds crazy, but stick with me here. All right, now their ears are going to kind of come out like that. Almost like a half circle with a little dip here. This is going to connect together the little slope here. And if you round off this edge, this right here is actually what connects into those big tusks, which you can decide if you want their tusks to kind of curve out like that or to curve like this. You can, they they tend to go in a lot of different directions as long as it's mostly forward. So you can decide how you want those to look, and then from a little bit in from those tusks, you're gonna come down. A trunk just like that. Now if you erase all these in between parts, now this spot right here, their eyes are actually going to be kind of right above it here. So just make that almost like a larger half circle and that's what gives you your eyes. And then if you shade parts of the ears, almost like triangles like this, it'll look like they're kind of catching the light in certain areas and almost like they're flapping in the wind. And you're going to shade a little bit around the head. And you're going to do some lines. Of coming down because they have a lot of little cracks in their trunk there. And there you go, elephant. So here we have another savanna animal. This one tends to be a crowd favorite, a lion. Well, this is another one where we're just going to do the head. So if you take this and create almost like you're going to make a triangle, but you didn't quite finish it. And then if you curve the edges up like that, and then just thicken these lines. So they're really, 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 really thick, but come to little points at the top. So then you've got your nose. Now he's going to kind of come down like that, almost like a half circle. And then you're going to have this right here, just kind of a swirling line, just like that. And if you keep it going up on top, this will turn into your eyes. Now you can go with a regular cat eye, like this. Or I know some of you like to do more anime eyes and things like that, and that is fine. It however you would like it to look. All right. Now he's going to have kind of a darker stripe right here that goes up into that mane like this. This part right here, just do like a little line going up like that. That'll kind of block off his his jaw there and give you a spot to continue that mane. Okay, all the way up. Now right in the middle 
of these two jowls here. You're actually going to do that bottom jaw. It's just like a half circle, just like that. darken a little bit above the nose here. We'll bring this part out a little bit more. We can give them some kind of eyebrow shading here. We'll darken right along the side of his head, leading into that mane. darken the under part here where the mane is starting because it's got a nice big shadow under his head so start with a great big oval like that. That's his belly. Then we're going to put another, almost a circle, but mostly an oval right here. And we're going to put another one kind of right here. Then we're going to kind of connect these. And I should have brought these up a little bit further. So I'm going to bring these up, at least up front, a little bit further. Because he's got big shoulders there. Open up on top, come around here. Now he's got his legs coming down like this. He's got another leg that's coming down on this side. And this is another one that if you don't want to do too much on the legs, you can always add in some tall grass. Over here, he's gonna have kind of oval here for a leg, over here, over here. So then, if you connect all of those like this, and then he's got some extra skin kind of hanging out here. He's a big guy. Just like that. Another leg kind of peeking out behind it. Now these back legs we can darken quite a bit because they are very shadowed. Okay. Alright, now up here, this part right here is kind of part of his neck. But we're just going to kind of oh, go on a little bit further than that. Do kind of a curved line. At the end of that curved line we're going to do not quite an oval, it's actually more of a bean shape, like that. So do an oval, but curve it. And you've got one horn here, and you've got one little horn here, and you've got an eye kind of right by that little horn, just like that. Now he's got lots and lots of wrinkles and shading and stuff all around here. So we can do some dark under his head. Like that. Well, he does have little ears. They almost make like a little cone. So they kind of come up like this. But it's skin that kind of wraps 
almost like that. So then this is the inside of the ear all dark. So it's almost like a little, little cone shape. So if we take this and we put a little bit of skin there and a little bit of dark for the inside of the ear. He's got another ear kind of coming out like that. Just peeking. All right, now we're going to erase some of these extra lines because we don't need all of them, right? And I wouldn't worry too much if it doesn't erase a lot because, like I said, on this guy, he's got lots of different shadows, different skin folds, wrinkles, things like that. So it's not going to be a super big deal if you have marks everywhere. So I'm going to darken that belly there. Bring it up. Follow that same line. You can kind of bring these lines up like that. If you keep it in a curve, it makes it look like his belly is still brown. And darken this back leg a little bit because his back end is kind of in shadows too, right? So a nice big shadow in the back. Yeah. Just like that. Now remember this little skin fold here? We're going to darken that a lot. Just like that. Darken this spot here. Now his head comes up like this. And he's got a fold in his neck that kind of comes up like that. And then it's also kind of shadowed down to his neck. So we're going to make that really dark. Go ahead and just add shading wherever you see fit. I'm going to have a little bit of darkness under the legs here so that they're catching shadow because the light source is coming from here. So this is all light and this is all dark. So we're going to do some extra dark right here. And like I said, you can always have some grass coming up here however you want to do it. And one rhino.